Now, Katie, Nin, you like music? I sure do. I'm studying Irish music in the University of Limerick. And this year, uh, there is a summer school being held here in Westport called Westport School Keol. It's an Irish traditional music summer school, which will be held this year from July 11th to 14th in School Fork's brand new national school here in Westport Town. Uh, formal music classes begin each morning, Monday through to Friday at 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And this year we've introduced a brand new songwriting class with upcoming singer-songwriter Lisa Canny, who's currently based in London. And there's uh, many activities that go on throughout the week, like the classes. We have sessions, tutor concerts, and uh, children, teenagers, adults alike take to the streets of Westport throughout the week and busk. So the whole town is filled with Irish traditional music. Um, Westport School Keol is well acknowledged with the Department of Education and Skills endorsing it. All national school teachers who attend the school get their EPV day approval dates. So that means a lot of teachers bring along their kids, bring along their families, making it a real family affair. Um, prices are 80 euro per person and if you have two members from the same family it's 70 euro per person and if you have any inquiries you can contact us at westbrooksgillkeol at gmail.com or by calling 087 918 5838 or indeed by getting us on our Facebook page at westbrooksgillkeol. And how many instruments will you be? There's a variety of instruments we have harps, fiddles, boxes, banjos, um, flutes, to whistles, adult only, to whistle classes. There's a variety of instruments. And you have tutors for all these different things? We do. Tutors come from all around the country. Ireland's best Irish traditional, Ireland's top Irish traditional musicians come all around the country, down to Westport, down to County Mayo for the week. And what do you teach? I'll be teaching fiddle this year. This fiddle, year. yeah. Yeah. And how did you get involved in all this? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm studying Irish traditional music in the University of Limerick and my mom, uh, Dr. Maureen Thornton, recently completed her PhD in Irish music in 2014. So we kind of co-managed the school along with Art Osiluan. And what was her topic? But her topic was Irish music in the education in the national school, Irish music and education. Yeah. And does she come from a musical family herself? She does, yeah. Uh, for years, uh, she competed in the Flaz, as do we now, all her kids. And she was in the Ballantubber Kelly Band for years growing up. And is she still in the Ballantubber Kelly Band? Not anymore, but she's played away. She's substituted them for us now. <laughs> You didn't have a family of musicians or a band of a family band, no? Uh, well, yeah, I gig with my sisters, my little sisters, my brother, my mom, the Heenan family, mm. yeah. And what's the state of Irish music like in Ireland now? Well, I think it's better than ever, yeah, and we're just trying to get the youth up playing and get as many people as we can. I know they don't do a whole lot of it in schools anymore, so an opportunity to play and endorse yourself in a, in a summer school like this is fantastic and it really makes practice and fun and you meet friends you meet similar people who have similar interests and yeah it's great and is there much foreign interest in this kind of music now there is we have we actually had a man come in last year from north korea who was uh who learned the tin whistle which was incredible and we do we have quite a few uh coming from abroad over to the school yeah and um what do you actually learn in your studies in, in, Limerick, in, in Limerick, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, a lot of it is practical based, so oh, I yeah. study the fiddle, the harp, the piano and the guitar there. So we do a lot of performances and then we also do various other modules like the history of Irish music, ethnomusicology, ethnochoreology, um, we, we learn about other genres of music. There's, yeah, it's full of, plentiful, plentiful modules. And is Mayo a good source of Irish music? Mayo is a great source of Irish music. Westport particularly, if you come here any day during the summer, the pubs are alive with music. We've Matt Malloy's here, um, and it's jam-packed with Irish traditional music musicians all summer long. I tell you, you can get it in winter as well at night. Oh, you can as well. <laughs> any any nights of the week you get uh, yeah. <laughs> Irish music, or country and western, or whatever. Do you look at other music... Uh, Types of music like country and western are. I do. Uh, I'm actually involved in a, in a, a country music band myself, Hurricane Highway. They're a Westport based band. Uh, so we're actually, we'll have a big gig now, um, the Harvest Fest on the 26th of August, I believe, in Westport, which will be a, a big affair. Really looking forward to it. So I am involved with the country music scene as well, yeah. So you're eclectic, is it? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> and do you play with Hurricane Highway? I do, I'm part yeah. of their band, yeah. yeah. And what instrument do you play with them? The I play fiddle with them and backing vocals. Girl. Yeah. So are you, are you going to make a, uh, a working musical career or a teaching music? Well, hopefully, <laughs> if I can sustain it for as long as I can, I want to be a musician and I'm, I'm happy out as long as I can play the fiddle and the harp anyway. Okay, so we'll see you at the... 
at the school when you started up. Yes, thank you very much. Good.